Okay, so I've just finished doing my eyebrows and they look quite good I think but you'll see how dangerous it is to do your own eyebrows in a bit. To thread your eyebrows you will need thread, scissors, tweezers, an eyebrow brush and an eye pencil. Get some of the thread about this much thread and then you're gonna tie the ends just tie a knot you want to make a loop out of thread this small you want to do this this is what you want to practice doing just practice just make sure you know what happens when you move this hand and what happens when you move this hand what this does is pulls the hair out so when the hair gets trapped in this little middle bit it gets pulled out of the skin so say I want to pull out here I'll put the hair so that it's through this loop then I will open up this hand so this middle bit passes through where the hair was so you get a loop circle it place whatever hair you want to get pulled out here then open it and if the hair that you want to pull out is here, then you open it the other way. You must thread in the opposite direction to the hair growth, otherwise no hair will come out. I'll show you what I mean. So if the hair is going that way, I will thread that way. Say I wanted to take out all of this hair, I would put it in inside the loop. Then I would open this hand up so that it passes through the hair I wanted to thread. Use an eye pencil to draw an outline of the shape you want. Try to make it as symmetrical as possible and leave hair in the necessary places which will eventually grow to make your eyebrows roughly symmetrical. Fill in your brows to be absolutely sure you like the shape you will end up with. Brush your eyebrows up and then line the scissors with the outline you drew. Trim any long hair that sticks out, but don't overdo it, you can easily ruin your eyebrows in this step. I'm now aligning the thread with the outline I drew to pull any hair just above the outline. Take note of the direction of the hair growth and the direction I'm threading in. It should always be the opposite direction. It's safe to do the top of your eyebrows because the skin isn't loose and won't get caught in the thread. Continue until you've got rid of all the extra hair. Keep aligning with your outline to get a clean finish. Brush the eyebrow hair up and out of the way before threading the unwanted hair at the bottom. Raise your eyebrows to stretch the skin as much as possible. Because the skin on your lid is so loose, it can easily get caught in the thread and bleed. The best thing to do to avoid that is to get someone else to do your eyebrows for you. Then you can stretch it like this. I don't usually do my eyebrows myself, but when you're at uni, you don't really have a choice. I will do another video in a few weeks when they grow back to show you guys how you can get someone else to do your eyebrows. The method for that will be a little different. You see how I align the thread and pull out several hairs at once. This is what threading is good for. You end up with a very clean finish. Make sure to let go of the thread if you think your skin is getting caught in the thread. Take a break if you need to. Sometimes it can take several tries before a certain hair comes out. You will also need to take the thread off your hand and redo the twisting several times to avoid the thread from digging into your fingers. You will get better with time, so just keep practicing on other people. The rest of this video is me finishing threading this eye. I didn't put a soundtrack because I want you to listen to that sweet sound of hair being pulled out by the thread. 
So enjoy. Now I'm just plucking out a few small hairs that I missed while threading. Then just finish off by threading in between your two eyebrows. Be very careful when doing this part, you can pull out the front of your eyebrow by mistake if you're not careful. And we are done! Look at that clean finish, tell me what you guys think, and if you do end up doing this, please be careful. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and if you want to see my previous video click that picture.